now listen you guys the bet was full of drama okay and one drama that i didn't see coming personally is that entire i spice jt and low uzi drama i'm just gonna tell you when i saw that i was like what is happening okay and at the same time koili ray um alato and glorilla they did their thing they performed ice ice spice basically also did perform and she did her thing okay hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug now first of all we're gonna talk about this entire situation i know this is exactly why you guys basically clicked on this video so you guys it seems like jt and lou uzi had a little fight had a little exchange at the awards and at this point i mean there is a lot of speculations that are going on in the air now you guys do know that ice spice and jt were seated very close to each other and so when Lil Uzi was basically performing um, he did reference I Spice and I guess that did not sit well with JT like any other lady would have felt and if you do know JT she doesn't play <laughs> <laughs> she does not play okay so i guess that got heated and it got to a point where jt was basically throwing the phone at lil uzi all right and then she was heard in the video saying that oh you goofy behind you goofy behind and it's wild you guys i'm just gonna let you know but let me tell you the part that took me out the most is basically the part where the two of them were living okay and there the bodyguards basically surrounding them and lu uzi was holding i guess that was his jacket rolled up out if i tell you that like i looked at that video i'm like what are these guys doing honestly it, it was hilarious to watch i'm not even gonna lie okay and he kept looking back he kept looking back he, it seems like he, it, seemed, it basically seemed like he was checking uh you know whether jt was going to come with another round or something like that now the comments obviously regarding that were very wild okay somebody was saying that oh wow I'm not going to let a nigga that fits in my pocket, uh, you know, basically disrespect me like that. And I'm like, you guys are so mean on the internet. Like, wow, you guys are so mean. Now, if you think this is basically the end of the drama, you guys, it's not, okay? So I Spice then went ahead. She posted a dump of the awards, um, you know, basically like a lot of other people in the picture, you know, snaps, different snaps, okay? And she saw it fit that after all these speculations and the drama, she posted her selfie with Lil Uzi and of course that had the internet in shambles in no time the blogs were posting it the instagram blogs were posting it and people were like people were like oh why are you playing jt's face and things like that and personally how i'm now taking it i'm thinking maybe we're speculating wrong you guys i don't think maybe they fought over the ice spice thing because i definitely do think if ice spice was the problem ice spice is not problematic if you know her if that was the reason why jt and lil uzi basically had a fight i doubt ice spice would actually go out there and you know be spiteful towards jt they don't have an issue and i don't think i spice would want Lil uzi like that in my own opinion but hey you guys do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that do you think that the two of them were fighting uh you know about the i spice situation and do you also think that by posting a picture of Lil uzi and herself i spice was basically playing in jt's face hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that personally i think not you guys i feel like the fact that ice spice actually did post you know lil uzi means that that was not the reason but then again i do understand that these people do have teams and stuff like that so maybe the team decided to just post you know that picture to get a little bit of you know to steer the port and things like that but i i want to believe that ice spice is not that desperate for attention in my own opinion and uh, okay whilst i'm still on that you guys i'm just apologizing because i'm on my way to work so if you do hear the background noise um it's you know that kind of a day it's a monday you know how it is like now moving on to the next thing that i'm gonna be talking about people are blasting uh petty label for basically seemingly forgetting lyrics to tina Turner's song and the internet was not happy with it okay the internet judges were basically not happy with it they were like this is so disrespectful and things like that did you not practice did you not rehearse 
guys how could you do something like that and with that entire situation you guys i don't know to hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that did you take offense or did you not take offense in all of that okay hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that now let's get back into the rap girlist performance okay so like i told you koili ray did her thing um lato also did her thing uh koili um what's her name again glorilla did her thing ice spice killed okay now i just want to quickly you know talk about ice spice's performance you remember the, the first time that ice spice was actually performing uh you know she was struggling to to you know basically catch her breath it was a mess okay breath control was something that you know she wasn't good at but i will tell you that after i watched the bet uh you know awards performance i feel like she is really learning you know she's doing her thing she's improving uh not just lyrically but now stage wise a stage presence and i feel like that um you know tour that she's going to go on with doja is certainly going to help her improve the beta okay did you peep that performance and let me know what you think about that in the comment section now lottery ticket i don't know if i should talk about that in this video because i've got a whole separate video if you guys didn't know she actually did uh you know get a consolation prize i mean a a BET award my bad <laughs> so yeah basically you guys i think i'm gonna make another video where i basically break that entire thing around you know down so do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that let me know which one of the girls uh you know had the best performance uh in your own opinion now speaking about performances it does seem like uh offset and quavo also decided to you know perform together at the bet's personally i feel like it's a very good idea given that they recently just had you know that loss um you know of takeoff so i mean i do love to see the two of them working their differences and basically sticking together as a family because i feel like they need each other more uh you know recently currently but do you get what i'm saying so i don't know you guys do hop into the comment section and let me know some of the moments that were basically outstanding for you at the bet's i would love to know what you think about that and what stood out for you and i mean put me on something okay if i miss something please make sure to let me know in the comment section so that i can talk about that in the next video that i'm going to post thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for making it this far if you haven't already what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that i post i post each and every single day and i keep you updated on what is happening in the celebrity world on instagram on twitter and about all things trending now until my next one see you